YouTubers. Today I'm going to be drinking the Lagunitas IPA. This is a standard IPA that you could get in the Bay Area and as well as all around the West Coast. And it's always this, the Lagunitas IPA and the Racer 5 by Bear Republic is what you see everywhere. And since it's everywhere, I don't bother getting it. Unless I go to bars and this is the only good choice. It's, it's just because I like to try different things all the time and especially if it's an IPA, I want to try something different. But today is a special day. Uh, today I got my stitches pulled out after the wisdom tooth extraction that I had. Uh, you can check it out in the video right here. And um, yeah, I was like, if I could eat something now where I could chew, I'm going to get myself pizza and I'm going to drink beer. And the dentist ensured me that I could drink beer. So anyways, uh, this is an IPA that doesn't have their ABV written on it, so you'll see it posted here. I think it's about like, 6 a standard IPA. So this is a West Coast IPA, something standard. Uh, so if it's West Coast, you're going to get a lot of Centennial um, uh, and Cascading. Actually, uh, actually both Centennial and Cascade. Uh, you'll get a lot of the citrus. So here's the pour. It's got a nice light orange color. And actually, um, it looks, the color wise, it looks really similar to my IPA that I just brewed. And yeah, I, it looks it looks really good. It's a light orange. Mine's like a more thicker orange color. It's very mango y smelling. Although I use all Cascadian. But sure enough, I smell Cascade, uh, just, just like my IPA. So, anyways, let me dive right in here. taste of beer after a week of not having it. Um, wow, I think it's been a while since I had this um, because it smells and tastes very similar to my IPA. Of course it's not as good as this is, but I smell that mango quality that I never noticed. I thought it was always just citrus and bitter, but you know, maybe it's just as the palate develops you could start picking out different flavors more and more and catching things that you haven't before. Yeah, that's good. I mean, it's, sure, I mean, it's an IPA, it's bitter, but the thing I really liked about this IPA, uh, I think this is the first IPA I've ever, ever liked, is because of its fruity quality. It's fruity in a way, there's citrus and mango. Now this one has a dry finish. Uh, whenever I have it on tap and when it's at its top state, um, you really taste the citrus. It's like, whoa. And it tastes really, really nice. Uh, Lagunitas, I heard the guys up there uh, in Petaluma, California, is just north from here. Uh, I heard that they're really, really cool. So if you get a chance to go up there, I mean, shoot, Russian River is there as well. But go up to Lagunitas, they're really cool guys. And they do some really cool stuff with beer as well. So I think that's about it, really. Yeah, I mean, this one tastes okay. It tastes alright. It's not the best Lagunitas IPA I've had, but. You know, it's good, and I've had it at its best taste, so I know how it should taste like. Um, but this isn't bad at all. And the cool thing is that now Safeway, and uh, this big grocery store, Safeway, uh, is starting to carry these beers, as well as Arrogant Bastard by Stone. So it's really awesome how uh, craft beer is seeping their way into the mainstream grocery stores. It's just like in Scotland, they're carrying the Punk IPA by BrewDog, so it's really, really cool. So anyways, thanks for watching, Lagunitas IPA, BAM, and I'll see you guys in another beer blog. Come by. This specific bottle, it's okay. I mean, it's not too great. I mean, it tastes like a 6 out of 10 kind of thing, when it should be 8 out of 10, I personally think. Um, but. You know, uh, actually, interesting thing, I know a girl that just doesn't really care for beer, but she had an IPA for the first time, and she was like, wow, this is really good. Strange, like, she likes IPAs. Um, but she said she had this, and she didn't really care for Lagunitas, but the beer she liked was the Blind Pig by Russian River, which is more on the creamy side for an IPA, and it tastes really good, so, I don't know, some people may like the Lagunitas IPA, and some may not, so I guess it depends on the individual.